Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. Today, I wanted to go over with you how to use Recall most effectively in the Dentamax software. So for starters, I'm going to put on my schedule here an appointment for Recall for my patient and go into Payton's profile. The most important thing to make sure you do when creating your new patients is make sure you are checking the box for Use Recall. And you want to make sure you're at least setting the Recall recall here for every X amount of months. Most patients are every six months, but if it's more or less, you can adjust that accordingly. If you want to use the manual set recall date, you can use this function. Just make sure after the manual set date has occurred that you come in and uncheck the box. So this is for the instance where if the patient just had a cleaning, let's say five months ago, then they should be cleaned every six months. You want to say that their next eligible date is actually 10, 11, of 18 and then after you see them for the October recall uncheck manual set and it'll default to every six months plus a day going forward so that's step number one is making sure you are setting them to use recall and that it is set correctly in the patient's information Next is when you do schedule the patient's recall appointment, you want to make sure that down here in service codes that you are in fact attaching the recall codes. What I mean with that is if I come to our setup and I come to set up service codes and hop down to a code here. I'm going to open this one and edit the code to show you. You want to make sure it's a code that is marked recall transaction. If you don't attach a recall item that is marked in the setup of the code as a recall transaction, there is no way for the software to know that this appointment is in fact a recall appointment. So we want to make sure that we are adding those codes here so the software already knows they're due, but yes, they're scheduled. So it won't pull them onto the recall list. And then you're wondering why somebody who is scheduled for recall is still showing up on the recall work list. So those are the key points that you want to make sure you are setting up when you want to use the recall system. That way, when you choose lists and use the recall list, you'll make sure that the people that are scheduled are not showing up on this list. So now, if I even go out, let's say to November, and I run this list, when I look on here now, you notice that Peyton is not on this list because I have set her to use recall correctly. I have set her recall appointment to have the recall codes, so the software knows recall is scheduled. We don't need to put them on the work list. We don't need to send them a text message and ask them to schedule recall. They already have. The other ways that you can find your recall work list, if you don't want to use it inside of the software and tracking your notes in here, you can come into the report screen and for any report, just as a reminder, you can search in here by keyword. So I'm just going to put in recall and it's going to give me a lot of different things I can use, such as reminder cards, mailing labels, and the work list. So here's the work list that is basically a printable version of that list view inside the software if you prefer to have something printed. The last way that you're able to work a recall, if, if you want it to be a little more automatic, is if you have our text messaging service, you'll be able in your setup to schedule when you want to send them their reminders. So for instance, I have mine set up to send a message seven days before they're due, and then every 14 days for up to 60 days past their due date. If you realize or feel like your recall messages aren't going out, you'll notice I don't have this box checked. You want to make sure that box is checked, telling the software you do in fact want to send the recall text message. The last step when using the recall system in Dentamax is to also make sure that at the end of a recall appointment, that you are setting the appointment as complete and you are in fact posting the recall charges to the ledger. This is another one of those things that triggers where the patient is at in the system. So if I go ahead and right click 
change status, mark complete. It's going to ask me what items I want to post. I'm going to say all. And what's nice about this function is it's then also going to ask you what you want to schedule them for next. And you can schedule now their next recall appointment. It'll take you out to where they should be due next based on the input you put in the setup of the patient. And you simply drag it to the appointment slot they requested. You've now told the software recall has been completed and their next recall has been scheduled. This has been your tip of the week for an overview of the recall system in Dentamax. If you have additional questions or want some more detailed information, please contact training at 1-800-704-8494, dial 1 then 2, or email training at dentamax.com. If you're interested in expanding any of your software needs, such as adding the text messaging, you may contact sales at 1-800-704-8494, dial 1 then 1, or email sales at dentamax.com. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day.